So today I'm going to speak to you about manifestation. Manifestation isn't about the struggle. It's not about pushing, pulling, or forcing the universe to bend to your will. The truth is what you're seeking is already yours. The moment you desire something, the universe sets it in motion. Your task isn't to strain and grind but to align yourself and believe that it's on its way. When you plant a seed, do you stand over it and demand that it grows? No, you water it and you trust that nature will do the rest. Manifestation works the same way. The more you relax, into the certainty that your desires are manifesting, the quicker they'll appear. So stop trying so hard. Release the need to control every detail and instead cultivate an inner knowing that what you want is already on its way. The universe has heard you and it's working behind the scenes to bring your dreams to life. You already hold everything you need within you at this very moment. The power to create the life and work you've always envisioned isn't hidden in some distant future or locked behind insurmountable challenges. It's here, right now, within you. Every dream, whether it's that perfect job, a fulfilling relationship, the body you desire, or inner peace, it's already yours. Just take a moment and let that sink in. Everything you seek is not out there waiting for you. It's just here within your grasp. Now you might wonder, if it's already mine, why can't I see it? Why can't I feel it? The truth is you've been looking in the wrong place, searching externally when the real magic happens within. Let's dive into your thoughts. Each day, countless thoughts race through your mind, some positive, some negative, and many just background noise. But here's the thing. Those thoughts are powerful. They're like seeds planted in the fertile soil of your life. When you focus on what you lack or on your worries, you're planting seeds of scarcity and anxiety. And what grows from those seeds? More lack, more worry, more of what you don't want. Now imagine shifting those thoughts. Imagine focusing on abundance, possibilities, and the good already present in your life. By planting these seeds, you begin to cultivate the very things you desire. This isn't some abstract concept. It's grounded in science. Your thoughts create real measurable changes in your brain and body. They influence your energy, your chemistry, even your DNA. When you transform your thoughts, you transform your entire being. So stop trying to force things into existence. Stop struggling. Stop grinding and pushing yourself to the brink. Instead, start believing, start knowing that what you desire is already yours. How? Begin with awareness. Notice your thoughts, especially when they dwell on problems or scarcity, and consciously choose to think differently. If you catch yourself doubting, replace that with a thought of confidence and worthiness. If you're worried about money, just pause, breathe, and affirm that abundance is on its way. This doesn't mean that you are living in fantasy. It has to do with shifting your focus, focusing on the frequency of abundance and possibility. Imagine it like a radio dial. Right now, you might be tuned into a station of limitation and lack, but with a small adjustment, you can tune into a station 
broadcasting abundance and opportunity. Both frequencies are always available. It's your choice which one you listen to. Now you might be thinking, if it's so simple, why isn't everybody doing it? The truth is, simplicity doesn't always mean ease. We've spent years, even decades, entrenched in certain thought patterns, conditioned by our upbringing, education, and society to focus on what's wrong, what's missing, and what needs fixing. Changing these patterns takes time, practice, and persistence. But here's the empowering part. You can start right now. In this very moment, you can begin to shift your thoughts. And as you do, you'll begin to see shifts in your life. Remember, you're not trying to create something new out of thin air. You're not manifesting something that doesn't already exist. You're aligning yourself with what already is. You're tuning into the frequency of your desires. Everything in the universe is made of energy. Your thoughts, your desires, all of it. When your thoughts resonate with your desires, you create a powerful attraction. You become a magnet for the very things you want. This is why effort and struggle often fail to bring about what you want. When you try hard, you're operating from a place of lack, signaling to the universe that you don't have what you desire and that you need to fight for it. But when you know down deep inside that it's already yours, you emanate a different energy. You're telling the universe, this is mine and I'm ready to receive it. Let's talk about the present moment, the only moment we truly have. The past is gone and the future is yet to come. But right now, in this very moment, you have the power to choose your thoughts, to direct your focus, and to shape your energy. So many of us spend our time and our life waiting for the perfect moment to arrive. The moment when we get that job, make that money, or find that partner. But the truth is that perfect moment is now. It's all we have and it's brimming with potential. When you fully embrace the present, when you stop trying to escape or change it, that's where true transformation occurs. In this moment, you can choose gratitude, focus what's good on your life and believe in yourself and your abilities. As you make these choices, moment by moment, you begin to align with the frequency you desire. So if you're serious about your manifestation and you really want to have results quickly and effectively, go ahead and become a member of this channel. Start becoming part of this supportive community to manifest the life and work you're dreaming of. We meet every Wednesday, live streaming. There's no risk. You can unsubscribe at any time. Just think back to a time when you felt genuinely happy, at peace, or fulfilled. Maybe it was during a breathtaking sunset, a moment of laughter with a friend, or after achieving something you worked hard for. In those moments, you weren't struggling or striving. You were simply being alignment with joy, peace, and success. That's the state you want to cultivate, not just in fleeting moments, but in your everyday life. And you can do it by choosing your thoughts, by focusing on what you want rather than what you lack. This isn't about ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's about changing your relationship with your experiences. It's about finding opportunities in challenging situations, the lessons in the setbacks. When something goes wrong, instead of feeling frustrated and discouraged, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this help me grow? When you face an obstacle, see it not as a barrier, but as a stepping stone, it's all about perspective, reframing. 
and that perspective is yours to choose right here, right now. Your outer world is a direct reflection of your inner world. What you experience around you mirrors your thoughts, beliefs, and expectations. It's like a magic hall of mirrors. If you wish to transform what you see in that mirror, you have to first change what's within. This is why affirmations and visualizations form such transformative power. By consistently affirming positive statements about you and your life and vividly imagining yourself in your dreams, you are reprogramming your subconscious mind. You're forging new neural pathways in your brain, altering your inner world, and inevitably your outer world will follow suit. But here's the key. It's not just about repeating words or picturing images, you must Feel it deeply, get in the vibe, embody the energy of what you desire. If you seek abundance, you need to feel abundant. If you desire love, start by feeling love within yourself. If you aspire to success, embrace a mindset of success in the present moment. This may seem daunting when your bank account is low or successful when your career is struggling. The answer lies in your imagination, what Plato called the world of ideals. Your brain doesn't distinguish between your current reality and those vivid scenarios of your imagination. When you immerse yourself in your the emotions of that life manifested, your brain will align itself with that. See yourself in a dream home, doing work with people who are supportive and loving and collaborative. Don't just see it, feel it. Let the joy, excitement, and gratitude flow throughout your senses. As you do this consistently, you'll notice an incredible shift. You'll start to feel more confident, more powerful, more alive. Opportunities and experiences that align with your new energy will start to appear. What seems like coincidences is actually the law of attraction at work. As you begin to shift your thoughts and energy, you may encounter resistance. Fear might creep in, your old patterns trying to hold on. Remember, remember yourself, your true self. Those old patterns and beliefs are not who you are. They're just thoughts you've practiced over time. Just as you've practiced those thoughts, you can practice new ones. When you notice resistance or contrast, don't fight it. Don't judge yourself for having those thoughts. Instead, observe them with curiosity, but then gently and firmly choose a new thought. Focus on what you want, not what you fear. Be free. Meditation can be incredibly empowering in this process. By meditating regularly or doing my guided meditations, you learn to observe your mind without getting swept away by every thought. This gives you the power to choose where to focus. Start small, just a few minutes each day. Sit quietly, focus on your breath or a candle. And when thoughts arise, as they will, simply notice them and let them go. Over time, this practice will make it easier to choose your thoughts throughout the day, not just through meditation. Gratitude is another powerful tool. When you focus on what you're grateful for, you automatically elevate your energy to a higher frequency. You align yourself with abundance rather than lack. Remember, Energy attracts like energy. Each day, take time to appreciate the good things in your life, no matter how small they may seem. This is Inspired Living. Hey, you've been a faithful subscriber. You've been watching my videos for quite some time now, and I know that they've been useful and helpful to you. 
My three-step method is based on Greek philosophy and neuro coaching. If you want to manifest, learn my method. It's so simple. Only three simple steps. This will be your compass, your GPS for life to get you the life and work you've always dreamed of. So why not become a member of my channel? What will you get if you're a member? You get to participate in our weekly group coaching that'll help you make much more progress in your manifestation journey. Second, you're going to have this access to the online course. That's where you will see really the system mapped out exactly what you're going to need to do to manifest your dreams. And last, you're going to be getting the guided meditations. I can't stress how important the guided meditations are for you. You can really reprogram your subconscious mind through the guided meditations. So if you're serious about your manifestation and you really want to have results quickly and effectively, go ahead and become a member of this channel. Start becoming part of this supportive community to manifest the life and work you're dreaming of. We meet every Wednesday, live streaming. There's no risk. You can unsubscribe at any time.